COVID-19 antibodies from infection could last several months, study says. If vaccine protection against COVID-19 can wane over time, what about the protection from infection? How long will the protection last for survivors? According to a research group, it can last for a reasonable amount of time. But before we continue, please like this video if you find this informative and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative content. Don't forget to click the bell icon too to get the latest updates. Both infection and vaccination can result in protection against the same disease. So, if you contracted COVID-19 and recovered from it, there is a good chance your body has antibodies against it. However, vaccination is a safer route because it removes your risk of hospitalization, complications, and untimely death. Yet the whole picture of protection from infection isn't fully known. At King's College London, researchers analyzed the antibodies in those who recovered from COVID-19. In 19 patients, 18 exhibited detectable antibodies that could combat the coronavirus. What's more interesting is that detectable antibodies remained high up to 10 months after infection. Researchers went beyond that. Lead researcher Dr. Katie Doors also tested if these antibodies are promising against different variants. The performance tests were versus the original SARS-CoV-2 and variants like Alpha, Beta, and Delta. Although antibodies from a specific variant could trigger a strong response to an infection of its own, the antibodies were less effective against different variants. That meant cross-neutralizing properties of antibodies vary based on the opponent. Since the antibodies reacted differently against distinct variants, researchers suggested possible differences in the spike protein of each variant. It might mean that anti-alpha variant antibodies see the delta variant quite differently. As a result, the binding would be less effective. It would warrant vaccines, particularly the booster dose, to overcome the weakness in cross-neutralization. Results also show that existing vaccines based on the original SARS-CoV-2 strain still give the best protection against all variants. Based on their findings, patients who couldn't mount an immune response would be the most vulnerable. If they survive the onslaught, they might be at risk of complications later on. Besides, they would need vaccines, including the third dose, to prevent another bout of COVID-19. The results were published in the journal Nature Microbiology. What do you think of the findings? Should the third dose be a part of the original series? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.